Bonjour à tous et bienvenue. Hello and welcome to another episode of Grizzly and Bear Overland. I'm Steph and with my husband Lee we are traveling around the world in our Land Rover Defender and four-wheel camper. Previously we took a ferry leaving Shodoshima behind and we arrived on mainland Japan. On Tuesday the 7th of April 2020 a state of emergency has been declared in Japan. We are currently in a safe place away from any big city and crowds. Please be aware that this video was filmed several weeks ago. Thank you for your understanding and enjoy the video. We have officially left Shikoku, region behind, leaving Shodoshima Island on the ferry this afternoon. We're in the car park of this place. So this is called a Lawson's, Lawson Station. They're like a 7-Eleven, 24-hour, they've got toilets, super fast internet, ATMs. It's not the healthiest, but you can get food in there. We spent the night at the Lawson Station. It was a very wet and windy night and it still is forecast all day today for rain. We are now going to try something that we've never done before. We can't be bothered packing up. The laundromat where we want to go and do all the laundry is like literally 100 meters down the street there. Which maybe 200 meters actually, but because it's raining so much, we don't want to be walking back with all the laundry. We're going to drive down there with the top up. I can't believe it. Our lazy plan didn't work. Look at this. Bloody, they put a height restriction. So <laughs> This campsite could be home for three days, we're thinking. We found this place using the app 27 Crags, which is a rock climbing location app. Get back climbing again. We're right on the coast, and I'm going to go and have a look now, see if I can find the climbing. Into the blue. <laughs> this should be an interesting one. There is apparently rock climbing down here somewhere. Alrighty, have you found us a way down? Attention la France! Well, we've ended up doing a bit of bush bashing. Pretty sure we're not on the, the right path to go down, but we're heading down still, so it's always the way. <laughs> Definitely not the normal path. Arrivée! Well done. So we found it. We made it down anyway, and we found some rock climbing. So this climbing area is a coastal crag. One thing we need to be extra cautious of when climbing at a coastal crag is corrosion. And that bolt is ready to fall to pieces. So yeah, it's something we need to be very aware of. Let's go to work. Cause I'm tripping. Gotta work on myself. Cause I'm falling apart. Please wake me up. We had the cops come this morning. There was some confusion about carnet du passage documents. We are not in Japan under a carnet. We are in Japan under a temporary import permit. There was some confusion. Eventually it was all sorted out. We are in the famous city of Kyoto. And we have Matthias and Gabriela to thanks for. Ah! And also Si, three very, very special people that have made this possible. We have a place to stay in Kyoto and we are extremely grateful as much and as we love. excited. <laughs> Super excited. As much as we love grizzly and bear, it's a special treat to oh, yeah. have a real house and a hot shower and a toilet and all this fancy stuff. Ramen noodles, huh? Yeah. You are ramen noodles master? Yeah, ramen master, yes. <laughs> we, awesome. make, we make this noodle. We saw a shop window as we walked past. Ramen noodles master. So we didn't walk any further. We found where we're eating tonight. Boston. 
did your training in Boston? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I cook ramen in Boston. But I can speak English so little. Ah, your English is very good. <laughs> Like a lacquer, like a like an epoxy. Bamboo. Yes. Okay. Fake and shag. Special for anniversary. Yeah. Art designer. Okay. Collaboration. to rent bikes for the day. Thank you very much. We thought it would be the perfect way to explore the city. Extremely rich in cultural and culinary traditions, today 1.5 million people are living in the modern and vibrant city of Kyoto. is a green tea in the powder form. Steffi loves this stuff, I hate it, I can't stand it. I everything swear she, matcha. She buys everything matcha because she knows I'm not going to steal her snacks and drinks. Mm. Yeah. How are you? 
it looked like a really bike friendly city and I think it is but you can't park bikes anywhere it's a big law against parking bikes anywhere and you can get arrested and uh, not arrested but your <laughs> bike can be taken away I think it's one bike at a time are we stuck? <laughs> We're in an underground bicycle parking area below a department store. Oh, you get it? It's just like a car parking. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, no way. Alrighty, in we go. <laughs> Some serious tickets. Kinkakushi, also known as the Golden Pavilion, was originally built in the 14th century as a villa for the shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu and then transformed into a Zen temple. The current version was rebuilt around 1950 after a monk burnt it down. Until 1868, Kyoto was the capital city of Japan. That is why the city has such an important cultural, spiritual and political history. Shintoism and Buddhism flourished here for more than a thousand years, leaving behind a legacy of shrines, gardens and temples. Today, 17 sites in Kyoto are World Heritage listed. Even though we highly appreciate cultural visits, there is so much time and money we can spend on sites and museums. We definitely missed out on a lot of other spectacular places in Kyoto. But towards the end of our stay in the city, the situation was starting to change quickly over in Europe and America. We made the decision to leave and to go where we feel the most at home. Please join us next week for another episode of Grizzly and Bear Overland in a Japanese forest.